remains of the passengers and crew may take up to six months. This, along with the slow pace of the probe and its international scope, means full closure for the victims' relatives is still far off. On Sunday, the U.S. newspaper, The Wall Street Journal, revealed federal prosecutors and the U.S. Department of Transportation officials are investigating the development of Boeing 737 MAX jetliners. This comes amid investigations into the Federal Aviation Administration's approval of the planes. The inquiry, launched after last October's Lion Air crash in Indonesia, is centered on whether or not the regulatory agency used appropriate design standards and engineering analyses when it certified the jet's automated safety feature. The inquiry is expected to raise further questions about how Boeing designed the 737 MAX 8, how pilots are trained to fly it, and what led the Federal Aviation Administration to approve the model. On Sunday, Ethiopia's transport minister said black box data revealed clear similarities between the Ethiopian Airlines and Lion Air accidents. The planes, both 737 MAX 8s, ascended and descended erratically. The pilots struggled to control the aircraft and attempted in vain to return to the airports. Both flights crashed a few minutes after takeoff. This is France 24. Let's take a look at today's headlines. A shooting on a tram in the Dutch city of Utrecht leaves one.